It's time! Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Bruce Lee and John Jones. All right, so here he is, the consensus greatest mixed martial arts athlete of all time, UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones. It has been a remarkable career. The toughest fight he has had came against you. He is trying to add to his legacy here tonight in what is yet another big spot for Johnny Books. John Jones is a guy that has reached the true pinnacle of mixed martial arts. No matter what he was going through outside of the octagon, the moment he stepped foot in there, he was just the best of the very best. I shared the octagon with him twice, and I have never felt that I was getting attacked by so many different things. He's a phenomenal mixed martial artist, truly deserves to go down in the UFC Hall of Fame. A champion now was a champion before, one of the longest reigns in UFC light heavyweight history. And it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it as well as he does that 84-inch reach. Certainly one of many tools in the vast arsenal of Johnny Bones Jones. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Paul. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks. Oh! oh! Here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Outstanding knee to the 
body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Yeah, he mixed it all up. That punch, no good. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though. Real nice body kick land. And he connects with the punch there. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Oh, Jones gets hit with a kick. Just missed with the left there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Jones's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Jones gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Oh man, head kick lands. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it, because the target is always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped around his waist. Boy, Ty Plum. Tie. Big kick land. Right on the button. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, uh -huh. stop it. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back in range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I, know I think it's so, so good. But there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those Cs in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Able to check that kick as well. And they separate. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that one, DC. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, nice elbow lands for John Jones and kind of throws it like a jab. Just looks very comfortable throwing that one. I mean, that's a strike of choice when you're in close, right? He's long, so punching in those tight quarters may not work well for him. So he leads on those elbows when he's chest to chest with his opponent. No glove, no pad on that elbow. No pad on the elbow, very pointy too. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Back and forth we go. Oh, crisp boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. He's really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You 
cannot just go after him guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Left hand punch for the clinch. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually, you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big knee lands to the body. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Single collar tie now. He goes upstairs for an elbow. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. Man, the nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Jones is lower job, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice strike. Slice's elbow comes around the corner. That only happens if you gave possible. Nice straight right lance. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. play as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine jump, John! So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.